Hey fellow designers, it's Karen of Made by Karen M. Today we're gonna be filming a plan by me session on my 2024 to 2025 digital fashion designer planner. So if you like to see how I plan my week out, stay tuned, but before you do, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend who may be interested in my content and change that notification bell from personalized to all. Let's get started. <music> start screen recording so y'all can see what I'm doing all right so today is Monday August the 19th I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling in the dates I'm all the way in the front of my house and the detector is in my bedroom I don't even know why I can hear it this far Okay, so today is 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, that's supposed to be 24 and 25. August 19th through 25th, 2024. Okay, so. Technically, I'm about 12 hours behind schedule on recording this because my goal is to get my weekly planning done on Sunday evenings. That way, when I wake up on Monday, I already know everything that I have planned for the day and I can just go right into it. But better late than never. So I'm going to start off with just writing down the things that I have planned out for today. So number one was plan with me and upload. Um, also, I'm going to walk on my treadmill Usually, um, I've tried to get into the habit of going for a walk at the park after I dropped my kids off at school, but they um, went to school from their dad's house today, so I didn't have to leave, so I figured I'll just stay home um, and I'll go walking outside tomorrow. Another thing that I need to do is create and photograph. Um, I promise I can spell. The bodice pattern for my mermaid gown instructions. So this year is actually year number five since I released my mermaid gown pattern and um, I've learned a lot about like document quality and photo quality and pattern instruction quality since I did that um, instruction booklet um, and I actually have been planning to formally updated since 2021 it's three years later and it's really time for me to buckle down and get it done additionally if you've been following me for a while you know i rebranded from kgc to karen m sewing patterns so there's just a lot that i need to change with those pattern instructions and i feel like this is the week to get it done one thing is i added um a sleeve pattern and a scoop neck bodice pattern um because most people end up using the mermaid gown pattern in com combination with like just a mesh like basic bodice top instead of the keyhole version so i'm going to be switching up those instructions and i feel like this is the week to get it done um also i've been using my large format printer to get some patterns printed out i printed like 20 copies of my um bra built-in bra corset pattern um i just don't have the skirts printed yet my printer is a little wonky and it seems like when i print out long things it doesn't like the print quality just isn't all the way there so i'm still working on that but i did get the bodices printed out for like 20 copies so um today i'm also going to be printing out printing and laminating i'm probably going to laminate them um corset booklets so this it doesn't have an instruction booklet like most of my patterns do because it's a video course and there's nine videos so i think what i'm going to do is put like a qr code so they can access um either each individual video or just access the playlist of all the instructional videos for the um course um and then also i'm gonna work on my new corset pattern i have a new corset pattern that's coming out very soon um I'm just still working out a lot of kinks so hopefully it won't be too much longer but I definitely need to put in some time on it every single day to get that goal accomplished um secondly so that's um for the week of what or for today secondly 
I want to plan out my dinners for the week and that's another reason why I like to do this on Sundays in case I have to go to the store because who wants to be going to the store on Monday and then you also got to figure out what to cook your kids for dinner on Monday. It's just too much. So this is something that really helped me have a smooth week last week was planning out my meals for the week. So tonight is um, we're going to have quesadillas. I have chicken, I have taco seasoning, I have cheese, I have tortillas, and that's what we're going to eat tonight. Very simple, very kid-friendly. Um, tomorrow, we're going to have sloppy joes, which I also already have the ingredients for that. Wednesday, we'll have pizza. And then Thursday, don't judge me. Thursday, we're going to eat ramen noodles. I swear my kids love them, and they're always asking me to buy them, and I never think to like plan them as a dinner. So, I don't know what we're going to do Friday. Friday we might eat out and then Saturday and Sunday I'm not sure either. So, um, I'll probably check back in with myself like midweek to figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of those dinners. But that'll at least, make it, at least get me through the first four days of the week stress-free because I already have all the ingredients and I know what I need to do each day. Um, let's see. Tuesday, I'm definitely going to go for a walk at the park. Because I will be dropping my kids off at school. Um, E-brand check-in. So I joined this entrepreneurship um, group coaching thing. It's a subscription service that I joined. It's supposed to help you um, grow your small business and reach your um, creator goals. Because as we know nowadays as a small business owner you have to also be a creator so this is something i've been subscribed to for literally like two years and i've never like buckled down and actually done it because i'm always like oh i'm so busy with this i'm so busy with that and i've just kept the subscription going so last week i logged in and i printed out the syllabus so this week i'm actually going to be buckling down and getting the content ingested and participating in all that good stuff um because i do eventually want to cancel the subscription so um this this week I am doing my e-brand check-in and I'm going to follow up with that. I also need to wash my hair and redo my hair so hopefully I can squeeze that in tomorrow. Um, work on new pattern is something that's going to be in my agenda every single day until it actually gets done and I launch it and start it selling it. Um, and then also finish editing mermaid pattern because today I'm going to be photographing. I don't know why I'm talking funny. Um, today I'm going to be photographing and I'm probably not going to also finish editing the pattern instructions. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. <sighs> I'm sorry y'all. My, my throat, my voice is just like, because this is the second time I'm doing this video, unfortunately. And if I if the camera doesn't save the video this time, I don't know. It's just not going to get done. And I don't know why my handwriting is so sloppy. Pattern. Instructions. Now, Wednesday, I likely want to make a fabric topia run because they've been closed since Tropical Storm or Hurricane or whatever it was. The storm that we had in Houston back in July, they've been closed since then because they had some flooding going on. They had to like pretty much remodel their whole storefront. Um, I may not go Wednesday because I feel like a bunch of people are going to go Wednesday and I really don't like going to the fabric store when it's crowded. Um, so we'll see. I'll put that on for Wednesday tentatively. And then um, also I'm going to write down that I'm going to go for a walk. So I'm really trying to get my like health and like um just physical wellness under control um y'all may not know this but i'm like really out of shape it's like horrible um and then wednesday i'm also gonna cut and fold mermaid patterns since i'm working on those instructions i have like this is probably like 10 or more i've had these patterns for the mermaid gown like in my office for literally over a year um i ordered them from pdf plotting and i never cut them and sent them out because um i wanted to update the instructions and i just haven't gotten around to it i didn't want to send out new patterns with old instructions and so this week is hopefully going to be my week to actually get that done <clears throat> and um 
I have been debating whether I wanted to actually cut them out individually like I've done here or just take the whole big sheet and fold it. I think if I want to fold the big sheet that I'm going to have to order um, a thinner paper like the tissue paper that they have when you go to like Joanne and stuff and buy their patterns because this paper is just way too thick to, to fold a whole big 36 by 72 inch piece of paper and fit it in the little mini page prote protectors like I like to do with my patterns. And I don't want to have to put every single pattern in a box because those boxes are like a dollar each. And it's just going to make it like way too expensive for me. So um, I'm probably going to end up cutting these out. But as far as what I continue to do with moving forward. Oh my God. And my battery is about to die. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday planned out. Let me just quickly write down my... Um, Sales goals for the week. I'm not going to write a number down, but I know that I want to sell at least 25 things, um, whether that's booking prom dresses or um, selling patterns. I also want to market my bra corset course. I've sold a bunch of them, but I feel like I have not reached everybody that I need to reach with them. So I'm constantly going to be pushing that. Um, also, prom dresses. I'm going to be posting that daily and my planner as well. And my promotion plan, the plan with me obviously is going to be a continued method. Um, and it's also something that I need to personally do. So perfect. Um, I need to do a YouTube video about the prom dresses that I made using my bra corset pattern this past season. And then let me hurry up before my camera dies because I'm just going to die if I have to record this again. Um, another thing that I want to do, if I don't have my planner like super filled in, I like to just put in images. So I'm just going to put my prom flyer. That's going to help me remember that I need to be marketing this every single freaking day. Um, and for this week's wins, I'm going to write down that I did my plan with me. Because that is something that I need to remember to do every single week if I want to be successful. Okay, I'm going to cut this short because I don't want my camera to cut off um, while I'm recording. Okay, so I don't like rushing. So I just wanted to show y'all like the last little bit of what I did. Um, like I was saying, I don't like having a whole lot of blank space in my planner. So I know I'm going to end up filling in Thursday and Friday. 